hot on camera. The HVAC scam in action. Furnace can get damaged, the floors and belongings you have down there. Insider confessions. So you were told to lie? Yes, pretty much. How do they get you to sign up? They kept saying over and over again how much it was going to save me money. Homes held hostage. How do we get out of this then? Well, you'll have to pay me $25,000. Marketplace and Go Public join forces, drilling into the truth and fighting for answers. Some of it involves you directly. We are turning up the heat on home heating deals. Looks like a good angle. Rigging up hidden cameras to capture a sales pitch that promises big savings. Good to see you. But leaves homeowners on the hook. Recording? Okay. Great. Locked into costly rental contracts for new HVAC equipment they don't really need. Joining us is our expert, Ron Muntz. Hey, Ron. Hi, how are you? Good. Welcome to our test house. Yeah. Ron used to work in the industry and now teaches HVAC technology. He's agreed to look at our furnace, air conditioner, and water heater. Does any of it need replacing? Okay, here we are. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a quick look at the venting. Ron spends the next half hour cranking up the heat, turning on the water, and checking out the AC. What's the verdict, Ron? Do they need replacing? Everything looks pretty decent. I ran the furnace, I ran it through a cycle. Um, so a few little things, nothing major, nothing needs to be replaced. How about the water heater? What if they say that needs replacing? Ask why. Because I ran it through a cycle, we ran the hot water till the burner came on, the burner lights up, everything's fine. Everything's fine. But what will we hear with our hidden cameras rolling? When this salesperson starts making his pitch. Hello, hi, I'm great, how are you? Good, good. Many of you write us from across the country with warnings about all kinds of HVAC companies. What you sign up for is not what you're told. One of you sends this video after fending off an aggressive sales pitch. Leave my house. Urging us to investigate. You need to calm Thank down. you, I'm, I'm very busy. calm. I want you to get the f out of my house. I'm here to help you. I don't need your help. He keeps pushing a heat pump she doesn't want and doesn't need. I want you to get ready to call the police if he doesn't leave. I'm in the middle of a work day, and now I feel this. I don't care if I qualify. I know. If you do. I'm happy with everything that I have, and you're still trying to sell me something. That's all you need. She kicks him out but worries many others buy in. We're taking a train to Cornwall, Ontario to meet a woman who wishes she too had said no. A few months ago, Karen Norgard signs up to rent this furnace for the next 10 years. I was told that it was going to save me a lot on uh, gas. But Karen hasn't seen those savings. I'm curious what else we can find out. What I'm looking for is to see if we can find the serial number. What we know for sure, she's paying more than $12,000, including installation. So when you're okay. ready, read it out to me. But how much is her furnace worth? It's a capital G mm -hmm. M E. Ah, here it is. This furnace is worth about $1,800. No way! Mm hmm No! $1,800. $1,800. And you're going to be paying more than $12,000 over the course of this contract. It makes me want to cry. I've been investigating HVAC scams for years. I didn't realize it was a contract. And across the industry, these rental contracts often cost thousands more than what the equipment and installation are worth. There are thousands of complaints about these kinds of contracts. One name that keeps coming up is Ontario Green Savings. Okay, okay so here's the, this is the company that we've been hearing about. That's who Karen Norgard signed up with and who we've called to our test house. Free in-home assessment registration. Ontario Green Savings is facing dozens of charges under Ontario's Consumer Protection Act, and so is its CEO. 
you're only as good as your results. Saeed Torbati makes motivational videos like this and calls himself a serial entrepreneur with a long list of businesses. Nobody really cares about your reasons or excuses. He and his companies stand accused of failure to provide refunds owed, failure to deliver a valid contract, and many charges of false and misleading practices. You talked a lot about cost savings. Have you seen any of those savings? No, I haven't. Back in Cornwall, Karen is told by Ontario Green Savings that she needs a new air conditioner because hers uses Freon. Not true. I went on, on the internet and said, OK, what do I have in here? The exact same coolant was in my old condi air conditioner that they were putting, that they were installing in my new air conditioner. And so no Freon? No. Karen manages to get out of that deal, but is stuck with the furnace she also signed up for. What was it about these conversations with the initial salesperson and the manager that convinced you to sign up? They kept saying over and over and over again how much it was going to save me money. You trusted him at this point? Of course I did, because I thought it was a government program. What gave you the impression that it was a government program? The name, first of all, Ontario Green Savings, sounds very much like it. They didn't say the government, but everything was implied that way. It was tailored like that. It was meant to be that way. Blake should know. I mean, I was telling them on the phone that it was a government program. He used to work for Ontario Green Savings in this Ottawa call center. You know, I believed it was a government program. Blake says he thought he was sending technicians to qualify people for government rebates. My job was to uh, pre-qualify people on whether or not they were able to get these rebates based on the energy efficiency of their systems. But he soon suspects it's just a ploy to get salespeople in the door. Regardless of whatever sort of system they had, it could be like, you know, it could be a year old, it could be 20 years old, it didn't matter. Um, they would tell you that you pre-qualified. It was, it was a theater, basically. Theater complete with a script and answers to any consumer objections. This one was leaked to us by a call center employee working for Ontario Green Savings. Question, do I have to do this? Answer, well, the government raised the efficiency standards in 2020, so we have to make sure everyone is meeting the new standards. In truth, there are no new standards, and Ontario Green Savings wasn't authorized to enforce any. This former employee remembers the scripts well. I'd make between 200, 250 calls a day. Because he's willing to name names and fears legal action, we've agreed to hide his identity. What did you tell these people they were signing up for? I told them that they had signed up for this thermostat rebate. They told us to make them sort of think that they applied with us, even though they didn't necessarily sign up with us. So you were told to lie? Yes, pretty much. By whom? By Axel Hermosa one of the managers. He began to think this whole thing was a scam, he says, when he learned how much his managers were making. Axel, for example, he would post his checks on his Instagram story. So these are a couple posts from the Instagram account that we're talking about. What impression did they give you? Well, I mean, $22,000, another week of commissions, right? And that's just Axel's check, which is kind of absurd. He's doing dishonest work and, and getting this much money out of it. I, I don't like that. Back at our test house, guess who shows up? Nice to meet you. I'm you. Today. Your name is Axel? Axel, yeah. Cool name. It's the same guy our insider was talking about. Hop downstairs and see what we can do for you. Remember, Axel is here to assess equipment that our expert says is perfectly fine. So what's he going to tell us? I listen upstairs as our producer, Katie, leads Axel down the basement. So, oh, it's an old live clean tank, so. He spends less than a few minutes on his inspection, unlike the half hour our expert took. It's a good unit. It's a prestige series. Axel says our furnace is fine, but zeroes in on the water tank and a sticker that says it's 10 years old. 2011, 10 years old, it's still on the rental. He wastes no time getting to the cell. If I could get you qualified to get it updated, it didn't cost you any money, that would obviously make sense for you. We go back upstairs to hear his pitch. Uh, it obviously looks like a no-brainer. Out of the blue, Axel tells us our water tank is in urgent need of replacement. 
it's ticketed, so you have to get it replaced within the next six days. What does that mean, ticketed? It, it ticketed, so like you, I've, so I'm a licensed contractor, so if anything happens, I'm liable. I've seen the tank. So I've informed you that your tank is 10 years old and it has to get replaced. Remember, just hours earlier, our expert tells us the water heater is fine. If someone comes in today and says, you need to replace this, what would you say? Ask why. Because I ran it through a cycle, everything's fine. But Axel says we have just six days to get a new tank, or else. Home insurance doesn't cover that. Really? In over 10 years, you run your own for a water heater. In truth, he has no idea what our insurance says. And most companies we contact afterwards say water tanks are covered well over 10 years. Your furnace can get damaged, the floors, any belongings you have down there. Over the course of an hour, Axel offers other questionable bits of information. He tells us his competitors actually work for Ontario Green Savings. So Ontario Green Savings is an umbrella. All the companies register underneath us mm -hmm. to pick up the installations. And he says by paying $50 a month more than what we're paying now, we'll actually save money. At the end of the day, you'll be up 20 bucks a month. Really? Yeah, the savings will cover your extra costs and you'll be up 20 bucks a month. By the end, it becomes clear we're not going to sign on the spot. So Axel leaves us with some alarming advice. Just be careful, don't like get too drunk and like bump into the tank, like they're fragile once they get old. So like if you knock into it, it might just like, Burst? Yeah, honestly. Really? Not, yeah, not even Jeez. We catch up with our HVAC expert, Ron Muntz, at Centennial College, where he teaches. I want to show you some video of a salesperson that came in and what he said about that exact same unit. Okay. Either way, I've seen the tank, it's ticketed, so you have to get it replaced within the next six days. So you heard him say that it's on its last legs. Is it fair for him to make that jump? No, it's not reasonable. The tank was operating fine, um, so it didn't need a new tank. Breaking out the drill to show you a whole new other side of this scam. And they came to the door and offered us a great deal on the nest and the camera. And a secret buried in the fine print. The cold truth continues. What? This is your marketplace. We're uncovering the cold truth about home heating contracts. Your monthly payment will increase three and a half percent every what? year. Homeowners like Karen Norgard sign up for savings but get surprises instead. So they're increasing the price even though the furnace is getting older every year. I'll see if I can help you out with anything. Our hidden cameras reveal sales tactics that scare. You have to get it replaced within the next six days. With information that misleads. Over 10 years, you run your own for a lot of you. And now, a whole new twist that goes beyond HVAC and leads to an even bigger bind. Just ask Tammy Bishop of London, Ontario. <laughs> Hey, Tammy, it's Hi. Rosa from Marketplace. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. She says it all started with a knock on the door. There was one night we were eating supper and they came to the door and offered us a great deal on the Nest and the camera. The salesperson told her a Nest thermostat would automate her heating and save her money on gas and electricity. The guys seemed to be very genuine. The thought of saving money. That was the main thing. Ontario actually banned door-to-door -door sales of HVAC equipment. Too many people getting ripped off. Now, some companies are branching out, selling everything from doorbell cameras to thermostats, things that aren't banned. Sounds like a good deal. But because I'm not the homeowner, I had to get my landlord involved. And you feel bad about it? Yes, I do. Very bad. Very. Because Cecil did get screwed up for it. Cecil Ford is the landlord who ultimately signs up for the deal. Hey, Cecil, it's Rosa from Marketplace. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. I just get home. Hey, I'm hoping you can show us the smart home products that you got. He thinks he's getting smart home devices. There it is. Yeah, that's the doorbell camera, along with HVAC maintenance plans for both his home and the rental where Tammy lives. And this is the smaller thermostat. 
It's only when he's ready to sell the rental a year later that Cecil discovers what he really signed up for. You go to sell your rental house, what happened there? My lawyer called me and said, you know, you know you got a lien on this property? Turns out, buried in the fine print of the contracts Cecil signed is this clause, security registration. In legal terms, it's known as a notice of security interest, but most of us know it as a lien and it makes it very hard to sell or refinance your home until it's lifted. He said, you, you can't sell this house on, unless, this, unless it's lean on, um, taken off the house. His lawyer says Ontario Green Savings, the same company we've been investigating, has a lien on Cecil's rental property. I had no choice. He only has a week until closing. The new buyers don't want a home with a lien, so he has no choice. I was committed to three deals I was in, and and I would have been sued by three people. Cecil pays Ontario Green Savings nearly $12,000 to get out of his contract and have the lien removed. But that's not the end of it. Cecil discovers another lien, this time on his own house. So I can sell this house then. I don't have $12,000 to give him again. And that means he's stuck in London instead of moving to Calgary like he planned. It was affecting my heart, my health, but that was a lot of stress. And uh, my wife and my daughter, both, all of us had a lot of stress. All this over a lead. Can it really be that easy to register one? And without telling the homeowner it's been done? We're putting it to the test first step, installing a doorbell camera, just like Cecil and Tammy's. At the CBC building in London, the city where they both live. The doorbell counts as a fixture, just like a furnace or water heater, allowing us to say we have a claim against this property. Next step, try to get a lien. To get some help with our test, we're in Stratford, Ontario to meet lawyer Dennis Crawford. Hey, Dennis, good to see you. Yeah, likewise. He has dozens of clients, including Cecil, who have fallen victim to what he calls the HVAC scam. The lien is what I call the beating heart of this scam. This is where they register a lien against the property based on the fact that there's rented equipment at that property, and they don't need to notify the homeowner that the lien is on title. They also don't need to prove they deserve a lien or how much it should be worth, as Dennis is about to show us with our lien. So here's the notice of security interest. Mm -hmm. And this is how easy it is to set the lien in any dollar amount you want. Anything I can pick for a doorbell cam. Sure. $25,000. All right. Okay. Dennis takes no time filling out the info. First I sign and then I go ahead and register it. You don't need to prove anything. No. And just like that, the CBC building in London has a $25,000 lien against it for a doorbell camera worth 200. As you saw, it doesn't need two signatures. It only needs a signature from the party who's registering it. How do we get out of this then? Well, you'll have to pay me $25,000. <laughs> Is that the only way? Yeah, it's intimidating. Dennis removes our lien soon after, but most of his clients have to fight theirs in court. He says these types of liens were never intended to be used against residential properties. Over and over, I see homeowners who have only a few days to deal with this legal problem pay ten dollars or $20,000 to buy out a water softener that they could have bought at a hardware store for 2,500 bucks. Most homeowners don't know that they have these liens in the first place. So what about Karen? Does she have one on her house for that costly rental contract? We did some more research since we talked to you last and we found some more bad news uh -oh. when it comes to this contract. We found that this company has a very substantial lien on your property. What? Turns out Karen's contract allows for a lien to be placed on her property. And the one they registered is for more than $15,000. Just right after you signed the contract, they put this lien on yeah, your property. But why? Karen is devastated. You're seeing me get scammed. I know. Are you okay? I am, but uh, okay. <laughs> her friend offers support. 
I've been horribly scammed. Confronting the man behind the sales pitch. I've seen your guys' show, so I'm assuming it'll probably put me in a bad situation. Don't sign up for anything until you watch your marketplace. Get more marketplace. Sign up for our weekly newsletter at cbc.ca slash marketplace. This is your marketplace. Hello, Rosa speaking. Hi, Rosa. Uh, this is Axel calling. You left me a message and they called me a few times. We're on the phone with Axel Hermosa, sales manager for Ontario Green Savings. We're working on a story about the HVAC industry in general, and uh, Ontario Green Savings is part of that story. I'll see if I can help you out with anything. Axel is the salesperson our hidden cameras captured, telling us our working water heater had to be replaced. You have to get it replaced within the next six days. The guy who told employees to lie, according to an insider. So you were told to lie? Yes, pretty much. Some of the stuff we've uncovered, I think, is stuff that you'd be interested to uh, hear about. Um, some of it involves you directly. Could we set up a time for an on-camera interview? No, I don't think it would be... I'd probably have to speak with the CEO in regards to that. That's CEO Saeed Torbati, who faces numerous charges under Ontario's Consumer Protection Act. I've seen your guys' show, so I'm assuming it'll probably put me in a bad situation. 2,500 reviews that are available on Google and seen the positive reviews from my name there. Is that what you're mentioning? Or are you speaking about maybe a couple unhappy customers? No, we absolutely want to put it all to you. But that interview never happens. And the company will only refer us to its lawyer, who says he's been advised that the allegations against Ontario Green Savings are unfounded. No one in the Ontario government will talk to us either about why they're not doing more to crack down on deals like Karen's and Cecil's. They're not in for business for the right purpose. And the government needs to step in. I feel um, a lack of trust for anybody selling anything. And I don't feel protected by the laws 